This is really exciting. I remember being there for the first day we loaded in the tanks, and it was a really, really fun year, so it makes me a little nostalgic, and I'm excited for next year. They say you are what you eat, but I eat what I'm giving. Guess that's why I'm just skin and bones. Reap what you sow. It's just so exciting to see these tanks coming, and it's hard to believe that a year ago our, our first tanks were coming, and we were worried that, you know, that we, we weren't going to be able to sell that much beer. And, and here we are a year later, and, and we're basically doubling the amount of uh, uh, beer we can produce. You know, craft beer on PEI is starting to grow really quickly and, and that wave is starting to take off that we've seen happening like all across Canada and, and down through the states and you know, PEI is always a little slow to respond to some of these changes and, and now everyone's jumping on the bandwagon and, and craft beer is gaining popularity and so for us I think it was, you know, a, a big part uh, timing uh, as to why we've been so successful but I also think that, you know, we've done a lot um, of interesting stuff to engage the community and, and the community has really embraced us and the people who support us have created a community around us and um, you know and now and now we can kind of try and take that community and, and expand it outside of Charlottetown and outside of PEI and we're really excited you know to, to be selling beer into Halifax and, and expanding in Nova Scotia and, and you know next you know we'll, we'll set our sights on, on New Brunswick. It's always great when you have these sort of milestones and it gives you a bit of a chance to reflect on what you've accomplished in the last year and, and, and where you're going to go in the future and so it's, yeah, it's always a bit sentimental. All the uh, the build up, all the planning, and everything to, uh, that went into over the last few months getting ready for this, and excited to get them stood up and start brewing next week. And you call me back and then I'm in the tide. It always seems to go your way. Will I tell you that today? No, it's going my way. This is a flashback. You know, the day our tanks arrived, it was raining too. So, it seems to be a wet and dreary day in tank world. Oh man, when it takes the leaves from the trees, let's work together, marts on my sleeve. And, uh, it's nice to have Greg rocking the fourth, but we don't have to worry about what kind of power slide through the back of the Oh yeah. No, if we didn't have Greg, those tanks would still be sitting there. Yeah, we'd be, <laughs> we'd be doing this. <laughs>